Hi everyone and welcome to Things at Parramatta where we explore the A to Z of Parramatta Heritage Centre's cultural collections. I'm Natalie, the cultural collections officer. Did you guess the answer to the clue? A cylinder on which film, wire, thread or other flexible materials can be wound? The mystery object beginning with the letter R is real. This is a thread reel holder that was used at the Parramatta Female Factory in the mid-1800s. The Female Factory is the largest and oldest surviving convict women's site in Australia. It was Australia's first purpose-built establishment for convict women who were sent to the colony of New South Wales. As well as a prison, it also served as a workhouse, wool and linen factory, hospital, marriage bureau, refuge for women and children and later a lunatic asylum. The original establishment, built in 1804, was located above the Parramatta Jail on the space that is now Prince Alfred Square. When it became too small to accommodate growing numbers, a new building was commissioned by Governor Lachlan Macquarie and designed by emancipated convict architect Francis Greenway. Governor Macquarie laid the first stone in 1818 and the second female factory materialised through convict labour upstream on the Parramatta River, opening in 1821. To manage the large numbers of women, a three-class system was established. Women in the first class were eligible for assignment and had certain privileges such as the ability to go to church, see visitors and get married and leave the factory if they found a husband. Second class women were on probation or not eligible for assignment due to medical or pregnancy needs. Both of these classes worked various jobs for a low wage such as wool picking, weaving, knitting, sewing, straw plaiting and hat making. Third class women, known as the crime class, were in prison for committing crimes and often served time through harsh punishment such as solitary confinement. They had no privileges and were forced to perform hard labour tasks like stone breaking and oakum picking for no pay. The Parramatta Female Factory became redundant when transportation to the New South Wales colony ceased in 1840. The inmates were granted a ticket of leave, but few ill and destitute women remained. In 1848, the Female Factory was converted into the Parramatta Lunatic Asylum. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you have a special object or heirloom that starts with the letter R, I'd love to hear about it. Please email me at localstudies at cityofparamatta.newsouthwales.gov.au. Your clue for the next mystery object starting with the letter S is a rectangular shaped bag used to carry clothes and possessions when you move locations. See you soon.